Well, I like that it's a Calgary organization that is very grassroots and a small organization. The donations um, largely go direct to the people who need them, and uh, that's an important consideration for me. What touched me is uh, that this organization is about people. First, uh, one of the, uh, the biggest impact, of course, is uh, we, we find that the, um, the people are very appreciative of, of what we've been able to help with uh, in some of the places. Uh, nobody, nobody else seems to know or care. It started out as a big three-story wing of an old hospital that was all falling down. It, it was basically abandoned. Abandoned. And um, the hospital gave it to MMC. So when we first started there, it was just a shell of an old building that was falling down, mold all over the walls, the roof leaking. It was a horrible mess. Now this whole standalone three-story structure is physically Done. That's roof, new roof, new windows, new inside, new everything. Uh, so the second is here, which is 40 feet, and we put 32 beds there, stretchers, and boxes with uh, surgical and medical tools. When we started this project, we were, we were thinking about how we can help actually the most impacted people. That's why we chose tuberculosis patient, because you know that uh, tuberculosis goes with poverty and war, and this is what Ukrainian people experience right now. MMC operates two clinics on border towns in the India-Burma border. The first clinic is at Sokatar, which is right on the India-Burma border. Our second clinic is at Shampai. We operate these clinics with a team of certified doctors, nurses, and lab tech. Each dollar donated makes an incredible difference because it goes directly to those who are in need. It's rewarding for us that each time we go back, we see the standard of living in those communities improving. We've been sort of working with for the last uh, maybe 10 years is uh, supporting or helping an organization called Social Action for Women. And they came together, started a little group, and it grew, but eventually they started to realize that there were a lot of orphan children. And we uh, helped them to over a six year period uh, build, buy land just outside of the Thai town called May Sot. We are so proud that MMC uh, stepped up to that and the donors uh, provided the funds to buy the land for them. I've been volunteering for 15 years and I enjoy having work bees at the warehouse. I round a lot of friends up to come here. Sometimes there's between five and ten of us. Of course, nobody was prepared. Everything was very uncertain, very unknown. One thing we did become uh, quite aware of very quickly was that there was going to be um, a big need for PPE. MMC still wanted to continue to carry out their mandate to do the work that they want to do and although they couldn't do it internationally at the time they did it locally with the same uh, parallel populations that we support overseas. MMC very very generously donated uh, approximately 40,000 masks to different uh, nonprofits. Um, some of the examples are the Mustard Seed, L'Arche, uh, Ursa, Options, Calgary Scope Society, uh, New Age Services. I'd like to thank all the donors, you know, that bring supplies to the warehouse and all the volunteers. Thank you to all donors who support Medical Mercy. You are doing an amazing job.